Hello everyone, today I have a Trader Joe's haul to share with you. Um, I had mentioned a while ago that I was kind of interested in branching out a bit and doing some different things um, on my channel and I had mentioned maybe doing Trader Joe's hauls and several of you said that you would watch them so <laughs> I'm going to try it out and see how it is. Um, we finally got a Trader Joe's closer to us. Um, we are in PA and typically my mom and I drive to Maryland to go to Trader Joe's um, but a new one just opened not too long ago and it's about 25-30 minutes down the highway so not far at all. I'm so excited we'll be able to go more often. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you what I picked up yesterday. I have my camera on manual focus, so hopefully it works out, <laughs> um, but we'll see. I did finally order a new phone and I'm hoping I can start using that to record these, um, but again, we just have to see how everything goes. Anyway, um, I do have my tea light going in the background and I was going to show you what scent I have in. Um, I'm finally trying this Aloha Beaches scent from K. This was, I think this was my favorite of the spring sampler on cold. So I decided to pull it out and put it in the tea light warmer today and I'm loving it. Um, it's, uh, it's summer in a clam. Okay. Um, let me get into what I picked up. Well, first I'll start with, I did grab some plants. Um, I grabbed this one. I don't know what it is yet. I didn't look it up yet, but, um, if you know, let me know. It has what, like seven, is it a, is it seven? I don't know. I think some have like seven or six. <laughs> I don't know. But if you know what this plant is, let me know. I know I've seen it before. And as soon as I look it up, I'm going to be like, oh yeah, duh. But anyway, I love picking up plants from Trader Joe's. Every time I go, I get a plant and plants and snacks is typically what I go for. So that's mostly what you're going to see here. Um, I also grabbed these flowers um, because Trader Joe's just has like beautiful fresh flowers and I was looking for something to put in this vase that I thrifted. Um, I just love it. I It's so hard for me to go to thrift stores and not buy everyone's like s projects from ceramics class. <laughs> um, but yeah, I figured this would be super cute for Easter with the bunny and then I just got these flowers to put in it. Um, so these were like a separate thing. It was these and then the white flowers. I think these are mums, like chrysanthemums. Um, they're huge, but I love them. So these were separate. I think they were like $3. And then I think these were like $4 for the bunch. And then I just put them in here together and I think it's super cute. So those are the plants and flowers that I picked up. Okay, then I'll get into some of the cold stuff. Um, I grabbed some orange peach mango juice. Usually I grab the, it's like a banana strawberry orange, I think. Um, my kids and my husband love that one, but they didn't have it, so I figured they could try this one, and I did try some last night, and it's really good. I think that's like two bucks. I don't know. I do have my receipt. I don't know if you guys care about how much everything was, but I think I kept it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, so I think those little, like the little berry kind of things are St. John's Fort. Did not know that. And then, yeah, the white ones, it says mum balls. So, <laughs> um, 
I don't know. It's so oh, orange peach mango, two ninety nine for the juice. Okay, and then I grabbed two bags of kale gnocchi or gnocchi. I don't know. We always said gnocchi, so um, I grabbed two bags of this. These are gluten free and vegan, zero added sugars. Actually, I think zero sugars all together. Yeah. Total. Well, one. One total sugar for the whole bag. Um, so yeah, I was super excited about these. I can eat these for lunch or I can just, you know, add them to a dinner one night, but they look really good. Um, I grabbed, let me tell you, I'm obsessed with dips. So I always get multiple dips when we go. Um, I grabbed this one. I think it's pronounced Zug sauce. I don't know. I looked it up because I wasn't sure what it was or how to say it, but I think it's Zug sauce. Um, it says a very spicy green herbal sauce with Yemeni roots and it just looked banging. It's, um, yeah, gluten-free and vegan. So once again, excited about that. And where are oh here zook sauce 2.99 for that dip and then i always every time we go i grab the caramelized onion dip um but since the last time we went i have tried to stop eating dairy i still it still sinks in here and there but um, i'm trying my best to cut out dairy so i tried the dairy free one this time i haven't tried it yet but I picked it up and I'm excited to try it. Um, this was $3.99 and the caramelized onion dip is so freaking good. If you haven't tried it, like this is my top recommendation <laughs> from Trader Joe's. It's so bomb. I usually like to eat it with the veggie chips that they have, but they didn't have any um, this time. So I picked up, I think I just grabbed some like corn chips or something to try it with. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's so good. I'm so excited to see if the vegan one tastes the same because if it does, I'll be grabbing that every time. Um, and then the last dip that I picked up is this Romesco dip. I think that's how you say it. it doesn't want to focus on this one. Um, and this was $3.99 also. Um, let me just tell you what it says and I can't read it from back here, but it's it says this bright and zesty Spanish inspired sauce is made with roasted red peppers, tomatoes, crushed almonds, um, and it is vegan and gluten free. So it meets all the, all the criteria for me. Okay. I think that's it for the cold stuff. Um, I found these gluten free hamburger buns. I was so excited because these are the softest. Like if you are gluten-free, you know the struggle with bread. This is the softest, softest buns <laughs> I've ever found. They're just, usually I have to um, toast or like warm up my gluten-free buns before I eat them. But these, I tried one last night because I made burgers. Um, I make veggie burgers and I didn't have to do anything to this bun. I just put my burger on it and it was amazing. So I will be repurchasing these for sure. Um, these do have eggs, so they're not vegan, but they are, um, I believe they're dairy free. Yeah, but they're not vegan. Um, and they do have six added sugars, which I'm also trying to cut out added sugars, but I'll deal with it <laughs> for these buns because they're so good. Okay. And then I have a bag full of stuff. I picked up this bag, um, because I didn't have this one yet. My mom and I collect the bags from all the Trader Joe's that we go to and I didn't have this bag yet, so I picked one up. Um, 
yeah, we usually, my mom and I, like I said, we travel to Maryland to go to Trader Joe's and then whenever we go away, like on a vacation, um, we will go to a Trader Joe's where we are and collect the bags. <laughs> I mean, we only have them from a few different states, but yeah, it's so fun to do. Okay, so the first thing I'll show you that's in here is this card. They have amazing like greeting cards for one dollar this card was 99 cents and it's beautiful i picked this up strictly to frame it <laughs> because i'm just obsessed with like the black background with the stars i think it's so pretty so yeah i'm gonna frame this one it does have like a um inside it says thinking of you and it's really cute but i got it to frame so I used to like stock up on the cards every time I went. I would just like grab a bunch of them to have on hand, but honestly, I don't send cards very often. Um, it's probably a good habit to get back into because I feel like most people don't send anything in the mail other than like packages and bills. Um, but yeah, that it, it's probably a good thing to get back into. Oh yeah, here's the chips I picked up to try all the dips with. <laughs> um, they're organic corn chip dippers. Um, there we go. And they have zero added sugars. They're gluten-free, vegan. Um, I mean, not saying that they're healthy or anything, but you know, I'm not really, I'm not necessarily trying to eat healthy just um, I'm trying to avoid inflammation um, but yeah those I'm sure will be great with the dips and they are uh, $2.49 so not bad for you know what you get these I was super excited to try seasoned popcorn and what is it called synergistically seasoned popcorn um trader joe's just has the cutest packaging on everything and that's what makes it like so hard to not buy everything but anyway these say tangy salty smoky spicy and slightly sweet flavors so i couldn't not get these um and i didn't see them when we first went through like the snack aisle and then i saw someone had like three bags of this in their cart and i was like where is that i need it <laughs> um so these do have traces of milk. It says almond, coconut, macadamia, nut, pecan. Traces of all those things. Um, but they are gluten-free. And just one added sugar. So not too bad. Um, definitely excited to see what these are like. And this was only $2.29 for this bag. Like... The prices are so good. Oh yeah, it says gluten-free right there. I didn't even have to check the ingredients, but I did anyway. Um, okay. These I've had before. These are spicy, porkless, plant-based snack rinds. Um, they are, what's it say, seasoned rice and pea snacks. Um, so yeah, these are gluten-free and vegan and they are really good. They are a little spicy. They're not like, I mean, I like spice, but it also <laughs> really gets to me. Um, but I'm always like, I always want the spicy stuff. But anyway, these are spicy, but I would say they're not like crazy intense. If you don't do spice at all, don't try these. But if you, like some spice in your life give them a try because they are so good i just ugh. like i said i'm obsessed with trader joe's snacks they're all gonna fall okay i'll just lay that there um stay okay next is yet another snack item and these are jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs Crunchy and spicy snacks made with corn, rice, quinoa, and baked to perfection. Um, 
I think it's pronounced quinoa. I used to say quinoa, but I am pretty sure I was saying it wrong. Um, but anyway, these are gluten-free and vegan. I usually, I won't say usually, but I used to get the um, sour cream and onion puffs like this. And obviously I didn't get them this time because they clearly have milk product in them. Um, but then I saw these and I've never, I've never seen these before. I've never tried them. Oh, and they're organic. Um, but yeah, they sound bomb. I am so pumped, especially because they're gluten-free and vegan. Um, and less than one added sugar. So again, that's pretty exciting. Let's see. That popcorn is just going to go. Okay. Um, oh, and they did give us some stickers too, like super cute stickers. I don't know if it's gonna focus on them, but I don't know. They're really cute. I wish it would focus because you can't appreciate them because you can't see them. Oh, there we go. Pickle dog, cheesecake, um, just so cute. I just love like the packaging and marketing from Trader Joe's so much. Um, I did, oh, I picked up, this is something that I was like on a mission to get when we went this time. Um, it's the crunchy almond butter. So Jenny from, um, oh my gosh, why do I always forget her channel name? I think it's just Jenny. She had mentioned that she like stocks up on this when she goes to Trader Joe's and I've been obsessed with crunchy peanut butter lately and I did find one that is just peanuts and salt but it's not easy to do um, and she let me know that this didn't have any like added oils or anything and it is just dry roasted almonds and sea salt. I'm so excited to try it. I think this was, um, I don't know if I've been telling you the prices. I don't know if I told you the price for the jalapeno corn puffs. Let me see. The jalapeno corn puffs were $1.99. Are you kidding? <laughs> um, but this almond butter, I want to say it was $5.99. Um, I don't even see it on here. $6.49. $6.49. So a little pricey, but like almond butter always is, and I'm just super excited to try it. I also <laughs> grabbed this black garlic. The other aisle I'm obsessed with at Trader Joe's is like the seasoning. It will not focus on this, like at all. Can we? There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, yeah, black garlic. I don't even know what I will do with this, but it sounded amazing. Um, my mom pointed it out to me, and I was like, yeah, um, I have to get that. Um, this was, why is it so hard for me to find everything on here? Um, there it is, $2.99. Like I was saying, I'm obsessed with their spice aisle they always have like something new and fun that i've never tried and i always just grab a few i think this is the only one i grabbed this time but there were definitely a few that i'll grab next time i just i didn't want to go overboard <laughs> it's so easy to go overboard in trader joe's like if you've ever gone you know what i mean it's just amazing the one thing i'm disappointed about with our trader joe's is we don't have the wine section um and i wish we did because it would have been fun to look at the different wines and i could really go for a glass of wine right now so um oh i ate these but i kept the bag which i wanted to show you because they were so good um these peanut butter and jelly fruise balls I'm thinking you can get these other places. I don't think these are like a Trader Joe's um, exclusive thing, but these were so good. They're vegan, um, gluten-free, 
They do have some added sugars. I think it's five, yeah, five for the bag, and the bag is a serving size. But these were so good. They have like dates and coconut, um, just bomb. They're like energy balls. Um, and yeah, I think they worked pretty well. I would definitely get these again. I think those were like a dollar or something, a dollar ninety-nine maybe. Yeah, a dollar ninety-nine. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm just like turning around and talking like you're in the room with me. Um, and then I think the rest is all stuff that I picked up for Easter baskets. Um, so the first thing I grabbed were these dark chocolate covered raisins for my husband for Easter because he asked me to get him raisinettes at the grocery store the other day and they had none. So <laughs> I saw these and I was like, you know what, I'll grab those for his Easter basket. Um, he, he loves chocolate covered raisins. So grab those and they were, no idea where they are. Um, oh, there they are. $3.99 for the tub of them. So I think that's pretty good. Um, I grabbed some fig cookies for my middle kids Easter basket. He's always asking for fig Newtons for some reason. Um, it must be from like a YouTube video. I don't know, but these were only $1.99. And I mean, I, like I said, I just can't pass up the packaging like these are gonna look so cute in an Easter basket I love it okay big cookies I grabbed some dark chocolate cookie sticks for someone's I don't know whose basket these are gonna go in but somebody is gonna get them for Easter it does not want to focus anymore is that focused maybe um, yeah, but look at that packaging with a little zebra. These are like those Pocky sticks, um, but I thought this packaging would be cute, again, in an Easter basket. Um, I think those were like $1.79, maybe. Um, I know this is probably so obnoxious, but I wanna let you guys know how much everything was cookie sticks dark chocolate 179 um what's this oh I didn't even realize I got these but yeah again with the cute packaging it'll look super cute in an Easter basket hmm maybe I should take it off of autofocus now um anyway cocoa baton wafer cookies it's just so cute um and I think these were a dollar 99 yeah $1.99. Then I saw, these are so cute. I don't, I think these are individually, I mean, I'm sure they're individually packaged. Um, yeah, six packs. So I will probably open these up and split them between the Easter baskets, but they're PB and J, um, crispy peanut butter filled wafer sticks with raspberry fruit dip. How fun is that? And how cute is it? Um, these were $3.99. So, I mean, I don't think that's bad. It's obviously like the novelty of it is the reason I picked them up, but they're super cute. Okay. Then I grabbed these chocolate mousse eggs. Um, not mousse, like the animal, like, you know what I mean? Why is it like done? There we go. It did a, such a good job for a while. Um, chocolate mousse eggs. These were $3.49, but I'm gonna stick these in my husband's Easter basket. They're just cute and I'm sure they're yummy. It says they're velvety chocolate egg shaped cakes layered with silky mousse. So that sounds bomb. And then the last thing that I got, again, I'll probably put these in my husband's Easter basket, but look at these <laughs> chocolate caramel yolkies. Um, so freaking cute. 
They're milk and white chocolate with orange caramel filled decoration. That's just so cute. These were $2.99. So, I mean, that's, I mean, I was going to say that's a little pricey, but I feel like that's fair for what it is. Um, yeah, <laughs> so cute. I think this was like the first thing I saw after the flowers that I put in my cart. Oh, you know what? I did forget one thing and I'm gonna grab it because I was pretty excited about it. Um, but yeah, I'll put these in my husband's basket also. Let me grab the thing that I forgot. I'll be right back. Okay, I was so excited for this and this was actually the first thing I saw after the flowers. That's what reminded me. Um, but it's a vegan ranch crunch salad kit. I'm, I'm gonna eat this after <laughs> I am done recording this because I completely forgot about it and it just sounds so good. It's green cabbage, romaine lettuce, crispy fried onions, roasted sunflower kernels, kale, red cabbage, carrots, and green onions with a vegan ranch dressing. Um, total sugars, three added sugars, zero per serving, less than one gram um, with the dressing. Oh, you know what? I guess I'm not gonna eat this because I just realized it's not gluten-free. Why? What is it gluten-free? What does it have? Hmm. Is it the dressing? Crispy fried onions. Okay, maybe, Maybe I can eat it. Maybe the crispy fried onions are separate, like in a separate pouch. Um, so if they are, I'll just not put those on it and then I'll eat it. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I just figured it's a salad. It's probably gluten free. Um, yeah, I think because I don't see any crispy fried onions mixed in. So I think they're probably in a pouch. Yeah, and that's the only thing that has gluten. So, if you're worried about that, um, I'm fairly certain that they are in a separate pouch and you can just not put them in your salad. But anyway, that's everything I picked up. I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this. Um, I'm sure if I do more of them, I'll get, you know, more comfortable doing it. Um, but it is fun to share this stuff with you. Like I've said before, I really want to just like share things that I enjoy and I'm interested in on my channel. So that's just what I'm going to do um, going forward. And yeah, I love watching Trader Joe's hauls. I love seeing what everybody is picking up and loving. So I figured I would enjoy sharing them with you also. Sorry if you hear my refrigerator, it's super loud. I don't know why it just randomly gets very loud. Um, but yeah, that's everything I have to share with you guys today. Let me know if you've tried any of this stuff and what you think of it. Um, I think most of this is new to me. Like I said, I've tried the porkless, porkless rinds before, but I think for the most part, everything here is new to me. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so let me know if you've tried any of this stuff or let me know what your favorite thing to pick up from Trader Joe's is because I'm always, you know, always wanting to try new stuff from Trader Joe's um, and yeah let me know if you enjoyed this video if or if you're like please no don't do this again <laughs> I mean I'll probably still do it because it was fun anyway thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're all doing well and I will talk to you all later bye